All right, y'all. What's up, ATL? This your girl, Lady T, with the Weekend Madness. And now we just talked to Shuddy the Kid, and now we actually have another guest in today. He goes by the name of Cobb. How you doing, baby? Yeah, what's going on, baby? How you doing? I'm all right. What's up, ATL? Now, how did you get the name Crime? Me, my producers, my supervisor, everybody was just trying to figure that out. Well, it started off from a neighborhood that we used to live in, and they named it like the Crime Side of Town. And so me and my cousin that took that name, we used to have a group called Crime Side. And then after the group, we didn't really work at that hard no more. It dropped, but everybody just kept calling me Crime Side. And they said, well, let's break it down, make it short. And everybody just started calling me Crime. So it kind of stuck on me. That's the stuff, early industry movement. Okay, you say you from your neighborhood. Where are you from? I'm from I'm from Detroit, but we was raised up. We was in Lansing. We lived in Lansing, too. And that's where the neighborhood was at. And so it was crime, crime stricken. So they call it the crime side of that town, you know. <laughs> For whatever reasons, you know. All right, now you're ATO, and not that many people heard of you, so what can you tell us about yourself? Well, I got a new project on the floor. It's called Street Second Tapes, put out by Quick Flip Entertainment. My first single, my first single is on um, Anything to Me with details from Convict Music. He also does all the, all the music for Ray J, the Sexy Can Eyes, the song like that, all that other song. It sounds like a little bit like an Akon, T-Pain combo, but we got a hot joint that's making a lot of noise right now. We did TJ's, DJ's, we just did the um, Black College Expo in Oakland. That's why I'm in ATL now. We got a show, we got a show today at the Galleria, so come on and check us out too. That's what's up. Now, you just had a lot of people. <laughs> so how many people have you collabed with? Like, what, what artists have you collabed with so far? All right, we'll go all back to your area first in the Bay. I got songs with Richie Rich. What? I got songs with, I got a couple songs with Spice One. Um, and then coming from down here, I got a song with Dollar. I got a song with Dollar and Ray J called What's Life. And it's on the new, for the Love of Ray J soundtrack that comes out in March on Koch Records. Um, I also have songs with Jim Jones, Freeway, Hell Rail, Zsa Zsa. Um, if I'm forgetting anybody, please hit me in the head. I've done a lot of songs with people. Um, I'm telling y'all, he's doing it big. Crying and don't stop. Big. Anybody out there want to do some songs, get at me. Now, your daddy, we got to get together, too. You heard me? Now, we was just talking, and you said you were starting up your own label. Yeah, Can you Quick tell Clip us about that? Quick Clip Entertainment. That's the, that's the label on the floor right now. Um, distribution, we're working, we working on it now, but right now we got hot music. And that's what we, we're looking for artists. that want to come through, got a hot song that don't sound like nobody else. You know what I mean? We don't want no replicas. We want the real deal, you know? And we down here looking. We met a guy today, his name is Paulo. He said he's the hot Atlanta, Atlanta artist that can't get a deal because he's hotter than everybody else. So we definitely <laughs> checking him out. What up, Paulo? What up, Paulo? So that's what's up. So anybody that can rap or whatever, y'all can holler at him because you know sing. he got him. They don't have to be gangster, they can be inspirational, whatever. Good music. That's all we care about. Good music. Speaking of good music, now we were just talking to Shotty out there and you know I asked him about the Soldier Boys and you know and me and you were talking briefly about it you know before we got on how do you feel about that how do you feel about real rap like is, is hip hop dead let me ask you that because a lot of people say hip hop is dead like the only people we got now is Lil Wayne and that's about it so how do you feel about hip hop is hip hop dead no hip hop can never be dead because even if we say it's garbage rap it's rap and it comes from hip-hop you know what I mean there's so many different genres of music it's like rock and took so many different angles rap is that big now that it can do silly rap gangster rap club rap real intellectual rap you know black awareness rap you know it's big enough now rap is big enough to where we have a lot of categories with it so we might not like this particular kind of rap but it is what it is it's our people you know what I mean so all rap is rap, you know what I mean? Whether we like it or not, it is that, it's that general, and that's what it is, and we should appreciate that it's came that far, whether Soldier Boy, Ice-T, you know, you know all, all the different things, you know what I mean? I mean, but can you actually call it rap? Like, he's, he's doing a dance. Soldier Boy is doing a dance, so you have to do a dance. Well, so, you know, take it back to the hokey pokey and the double duck bus, <laughs> all that, you know what I mean? All that, you know what I mean? It's, that's it's just, true. It's, cre it's creativity on his it part, because he's making, making money millions, with it. Right. Yeah, so I, I, I can't knock nobody music. It might not be what I'm going to buy and pop in my whip, uh -huh. but I respect everybody who goes out there and knocks it out and gets it in. I respect that. All right, well, what do you, do you do the, the... You know, hokey pokey rap, or you well, really actually. Just, my album's called Streets Are Contagious, and that's what we're talking about the addiction of these city streets. You know, I mean, how you in there, you know, like I said, I don't have no, no pop songs or nothing like that, but I'm trying to learn how to make some songs of my style of music that be a crossover to them, but still stay my way. You hear me? <laughs> that's, 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 that's,
Now, do you actually, do you look up to anybody right now, or you look up to yourself, or well, <laughs> like, no, who I are look, your influence? I look, I look up to everybody who's doing the right thing, you know, standing out the way of those people to do this for our people. Right. You know what I mean? Anybody like the Rick Rosses, you know what I mean? Shout out to Rick Rosses. Shout out to, yeah, he, he big with it, you know what I mean? T.I., you know, we love him too. You know, I mess with Rocco, Gorilla Zoe. Anybody from ATI, I mess with them. You know, one love to ATI, y'all got it going on right now. This is our time, you know what I mean? So shine with it. And we down here trying to rub elbows and shine with you, you know? Right. Now, Detroit, like I was talking with him, what, what is Detroit known for? Like, how many, like, who comes from Detroit? Like, I don't know too many people I mean, from Detroit. Like, who they focusing on from Detroit is Eminem, the D12s, Trick Trick, without Trick Trick, you got a little bit more mm-hmm. gangster music, you know, Eminem. Eminem is immaculate. I love Eminem. Yeah, but Eminem don't make our music. You know, he made yeah. my music. I yeah. love Eminem. Like yeah. he coming out, he came out with Dre. He was singing. Oh, cause you come on, you can't. What, what can you do wrong? That's East right. Coast, West Coast. We always, you know, you what's know, gonna happen? Midwest and West Coast, we get together. You know, that Dre sound is the Motown sound. Mm-hmm. That's our music. So you know, right. well, rapper can go out there and get down with him. You know what I mean? I feel but you not, right. don't get, not taking nothing from him. Em is live. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, Em got his own category where most of us don't even fit in there. You don't think he rap or? You know, yeah, he, he, raps. Part, he, he, raps, he raps, but he got, a, he got a market that we can't touch. Meaning, like, elaborate on that. Well, we're black, he's he white. True. So those white kids are going to go buy him and them because he's one of their own in our world. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's an extra boost he got, which is nothing wrong with it. Right. Working him, you feel me? But now <laughs> us, you know, we have a little problem. Some white kids are getting on us, but they're the ones buying most of them anyway. The downloads, not us today on it. So, you know, we got to promote to everybody, but he has a little extra jump. Right. You know what I'm saying? His, his, his banner is, is a little bit more seen than ours, you know what I mean? Right. Now, it's obvious, you know, you are a real lyricist, and we need a sample for you so we can put it on. <laughs> now, are you going to give us a sample? Uh, we're going to have to give you something real clean. And we've been sitting back clean, debating. Clean, clean. We've been sitting back debating on that, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to say a couple of few words, you know what I mean? All right. Crime's been around. People hate me, but I hope ATL wish me well. Catch me the Kyle Galleria. I'ma bring you a show, I'ma serve y'all like it's a pizzeria. No pepperoni, we don't eat swine. But 09 is crime's time, you got it? 09 <laughs> is crime's time, crime from Detroit. What it do, baby? That's what's up. Anything else you want to tell us? Yeah, be on the lookout for us, baby. It ain't a thing. This is going to start banging in the clubs after I leave here. Believe that. We're here to promote. We're here. We're going to be at every club. Jim Lemon Thompson, you're going to catch the Velvet Room. You're going to catch everywhere where something's popping. And we got songs with all those people, too. You got Jim Jones, Freeway, and all the money. So people in town, we're going to be there where they at, too. So look for us. You dropping a mixtape mix anytime soon? Yeah, we got a mixtape about to drop next month called A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men. And then the album is called Future Contagious, and I'll come right after that. And we're working a single right now. So come on, show love, ATL. I'm down here for y'all. All right, ATL, that's Detroit's very own crime, and we got his music coming up next. So we'll, we'll come back to him in a minute. Again, this is Lady T with the Weekend Madness on WSTU 98.1. There it is.